What is going on, everybody? I'm back. I was getting a few things done and watching a stream real quick. But I did have a mail day today. I already opened the packages just to try to save a little bit of time on a video. So, this card is from eBay. This is a guy I've been picking up. Uh, he's one of nobody's really been hitting. There's two dudes. This guy here's a little bit cheaper to pen on the product And this is a pretty card. I sold the raw I had of this I wanted to get one get it graded for a good chance at 10 But I purchased it because I was just you know, I Guess you could say had like missing the card. So I picked it up so pretty cool um Ben Simmons rookie card from Mosaic. He was a big deal for a while. He only signs with Upper Deck, as everybody knows, just like Jordan and uh, um, LeBron. But he has a lot of potential upside, and you never know. Gary V could say Ben Simmons next. So I have another one or two coming in yet, too. But I didn't go with anything crazy expensive on him. <clears throat> I mean, this is a prism. It is Mosaic. You know... Uh, I can't remember what these go for, to be honest. I, it was under 100 bucks. I'm almost positive on to it. But, you know, if it does go up crazy and, you know, he does something, it, it's something for a PC to a piece down the road, a small investment. The next, my select basketball has come back. So, let's start off. Everybody remembers this, the I-10 Cam Reddish. This had that line... And it's right around in this area. I'm going to see if I can find it. You can kind of see it up by the H. See that? There's like a printer line right there. Kind of hard to see. That's what gave it a 9. I still don't know to figure out the corners being 8 5 because they look really good, but it is gold in the bottom. So I'm guessing that's where they got me. But either way, I was expecting this to come back a 9. I'll take a 9. And this here I'm keeping. Uh, if Cam Reddish ever, like, goes out there and destroys it, I mean, he was picking up some steam before uh, COVID-19. It could be worth something down the road. Um, pretty cool. Prism Gold, like I said, it's out of 10. I have number 7 out of 10. I don't believe it. No, it's not Jersey. I'm using the 20s. But, you know, it, it helps solidify the card because if I ever do go to sell it, nobody can, you know, really say much on a grade. It's been graded. I, I, if I was really a betting man, I would probably send it back in. But even if the corners bumped up to a 9, I'm afraid they'd ding the surface down to 8.5 because that's what I figured on to it. So either way, I knew it was going to come back to 9. This one here really, really hurt me. They're saying the centering was 8.5, and I know you go from the blue in. I was hoping for a 9 on centering, to be honest, but then again, 2.95 is a 9. Come back a 9 anyhow. This uh, last sold, only BGS 9 out there sold for 2.48, so I'll probably list on my slash about 2.35-ish. So if you're interested, it'll be on my slabs. It'll be here later on tonight. But kind of hard to see. Oh, there's a spec there. 8.5 centering. Man, come on, nail. Here we go. 8-5 centering, 9-5 edges, 9-5 corners, 9 surface. And I'm just, I, I don't know. I really looked this over pretty good. I knew the centering was off. I figured it would be a 9 and everything else with 9-5 out, but Select got me this year. He really did. Finally, Premier Levels on. This is card 1. Out of the set rookie card this did nine five it's not a true gem i want to say this is going for like 140 ish roughly but surface and centering edges all good got me on corners again man i was gentle with these packs so not too sure i mean they, they really got me on quarters i when you look at i'm wondering if it's because of the foil onto the corners i i have no idea but then again, the back, or could, they could have seen more whiting than what I saw. So, oh, there is right there. Right down there. Uh, that's where I must have. I don't know how I missed that. No idea. Well, anyhow, 9-5. So not too bad of a mail day overall. This was BGS in return. I usually only keep quad 9-5s. People might say I'm really, really picky. But 
yeah, that's just me. I like the true gems. If this were a true gem dot, I would have kept it uh, offhand. Like I said, th this will go on my slabs as well, too. Ben Simmons and uh, Reddish go and get locked up. Well, they'll just go behind me. They're not really locked up safe material. That's usually stuff that's uh, big money back there. But not too bad overall with Mail Day. Well, plus there was the uh, Gorilla giveaway came in the mail today, too. That was a separate video. Uh, I don't think there's much really coming in this week. There should be one, two, three cards coming in. I think that's it. So we might have a late week Mail Day. Really haven't bought much more because a lot of stuff that I've been watching either got gobbled up really quickly because it was a good price or... Uh, it's one of those ones on my watch list where I'm like, ah, I can't pull the trigger. Uh, you guys know how that mostly goes offhand. You sit there and look at it. Uh, PSA, still rolling with them. And SGC, no changes in levels. Um, got a couple going out to Beckett, but I'm going to wait for Brian's package to come before I mail anything off here in about two weeks. Probably next week I start mailing off. So, Brian, if you're watching this, uh, let me know, too. I'll just text you, man. I just need to know if you're mailing to the house or to the UPS store. Because I'm home. I mean, I don't mind people mailing the house when I'm home. Uh, that should be about it, everything with it. I'm tr I swear I had something else on the tip of my tongue I was going to say. And gone. Just gone. Gone, gone, gone. Oh, NT Basketball. Uh, that's Friday. If anybody's actually doing it, good luck on it. That is really expensive, 4800 or so on for a poor box on eBay. I think I'm going to list mine at 4400 and see if I have a bite on it. I'm sure I will because it's NT. Uh, was there something else was coming out this week too, I thought, but I didn't get any of it. Next week's a dead week as well too, no product for me. Uh, we didn't get any top series too. Hopefully if the Walmart stuff comes in, I'll probably rip a couple hangers, and then I'll sell the rest. But the one case of hangers will go get locked up. That's if I am seeing uh, Luis Robert in there because people will be really going crazy for his stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stuff end of the month that hasn't really been confirmed yet, so I'm hoping that eventually they will confirm some of this. I think Super Break even got pushed out two weeks till around like the 24th that'll be an interesting product i'll open up live for you all it's one of those real hard products to hit in so it's almost like chasing you know hoping that the box of cards you have has a zion silver regardless of the brand optic prism mosaic in it and you get disappointed by it but uh i'm trying to think what else was this month it's gonna be pretty good i know legacy football is coming out pretty soon i'm sure there's more stuff it's just that i'm usually only working the week of and the week after when i'm looking at product coming in because it, it fluctuates so much and with covid19 it really fluctuates other than that if you guys are around the lexington area there is a card show on the 20th of june that is a saturday it is not at the Armor National Guard Armory. They moved it to the Clarion. I think it's called Hotel and not a motel, but y'all get it. It's a place you go sleep in. I think it's Hotel. So check it out. I'm going to be there for a little bit. I'm probably going to end up, I have a little uh, back procedure a couple days prior, so I'll probably be sitting behind uh, somebody's table for a little bit just to give my back a rest as I walk around and try to pick stuff up. Probably should have SGC should be popped by then and on its way back, I believe. Nope, it's the following week. Yep, the following week. But other than that, everybody have a good week. I will be back tomorrow or Wednesday with a box of 88 Don Russ. There's nothing high end in it, but there's a lot of PSA 10 stuff like Mark Grace, rookies. Everybody remembers Mark Grace. And. There's a couple other cards in there, you know, they sell 50 to 80 bucks, but I'm just trying to get that uh, last few cards for an 80s uh, thing pushed this month. 
But other than that, I'll come live Friday. We'll do a giveaway and stuff like that. I haven't decided what the giveaway is. I know everybody always wonders, but uh, I won't know until really probably Wednesday, whenever they call me about NT basketball, if I'm going to order any other thing, any other product with it or not. But that is about it, everybody. I do appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. There was no hidden giveaways in this video. Um, I thought about it, but I wanted to back it down uh, off of something like this right here. Other than that, like I said, have a good week. Catch y'all later.